What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of Play to Win, the series where I try to get a big win streak as possible using a super duper overpowered team. Um, got a few topics to talk about today, uh, something that's been going around the community a lot, albeit not our actual community. So unless you've kind of had your head buried in the sand in the last couple of days, you would know that uh, a YouTuber called iFlyle and I made a video about Raw Instinct, a COD YouTuber who basically stole videos and concepts and titles and stuff from uh, Team Art and from iFlyle and I himself. And uh, basically iFlyle and I called him out, made a, a very good video about the whole subject on kind of stealing and cheating and lying and like just cheating the system and you know it, it was a cool video it really was awesome and one of the most impressive things about the video was just how much the video made you want to give iFly a hug or some money or something because it was a very very well put together story like it really really was um, but it's led to a lot of discussions in all kind of gaming communities over the past couple of days more you know none more so than the cod community but it's it's led to a lot of people tweeting me um, and putting comments in my comment section about the um, let's say the what's the word I'm looking for just the authenticity of a lot of people's videos and I just want to really talk to you guys about my thoughts on stealing and copying ideas and whatever and let you know where I stand on the whole point of it. Uh, before I do get into it though guys, I'm working on D-pad tactics part 2. It is a lot of effort to put into these videos so apologies that it's not up this time around and apologies there's no actual tips for play to win this time. Um, it, it does really just genuinely take me like 6 or 7 hours to make that D-pad tactics video which is crazy because uh, it, it doesn't look like that but it is. Um, so here we go with what I think about this whole situation. Now I'm going to give you a few examples straight away of, of what happens in the FIFA community specifically because you guys are obviously part of the FIFA community, you guys watch FIFA videos uh, and I am a FIFA director so it wouldn't make any sense for me to talk about any other community. Um, we'll take one of the biggest examples and seeing as he's the biggest FIFA director out there, you, you've got to look at KSI being the person that, because he's most known, gets not accused of but accused for having people steal his ideas more than anyone else really you know KSI has made waves in the FIFA community and what he does is amazing and I'm not disrespecting him at all one one little bit for those of you that really follow me a lot you know I'm very very good friends with him um, and I think what he does is very very unique and very very awesome however if KSI uses the term beast right we know he's got his beast series if anybody else in a video says the word beast they get flamed for copying KSI if anybody in their video has even a a little bit of humor or a little bit of comedy in their video they get so much hate for copying KSI it's just unreal I've had directors message me on uh, Twitter and on YouTube um, and ask me to watch a video and ask me to basically clarify if or not it's acceptable for them to upload it because it's too similar to another director's series or video um, and I just want to let you guys know I've been watching Painkiller already as well with uh, Woody's gamer tag on and he said something quite unique and he said something like he, he basically said if you start playing a game that nobody's played before um, let's say you know before PewDiePie let's say Happy Wheels it's absolutely okay for somebody else to start playing Happy Wheels and make videos of it However, he said, if you make a DayZ video and you do some air, aircraft fixing in it or something, and then you take a real life part of that and you go to a real air life hangar and uh, air life, a real life air hangar, and um, you like really make the the idea behind the video super super unique to you and very specific to you, it's not okay for somebody else to go along and do the same sort of thing because they are literally ripping off an idea rather than just playing a game and making the idea unique themselves and that's so true in the FIFA community and people do get very 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 wound up when somebody steals another idea but there's only so much you can do with FIFA and in this community and it, it just begs me to put the point across that if you guys have a problem with somebody stealing an idea 
why don't you go all the way back to the point to where you should have a problem with any new YouTuber or any old YouTuber for stealing the ideas of even making YouTube videos? There's got to be a line there, um, and it would be interesting to hear your thoughts in you know in the comments section. But there's got to be a line whereby somebody made a road to glory. As far as I could tell, and as far as I'm aware, Sam Five Thousand made the first road to glory series. Now road to glory series are everywhere, but nobody gives a shit. Why? Why is it okay for some people to copy that? But when somebody, like if JJ puts enthusiasm in his video, if somebody else put enthusiasm in their video, they would get absolutely flamed for it. Like I don't see, I, I see where the line is and I don't think that's the line. But um, I, I don't understand why other people can't really see the line and don't really understand that, hey, there's only so many concepts in this community and a lot of them are going to get recycled time and time again. Now one more example before this video ends guys is AA9 Skills has got his pl uh, win one take one series. If somebody else started doing that, where they added the other game modes in, and you know, added like the PvP, sorry, no, DBP, whatever the game's called, or like something like um, Sims or something, and started making FIFA videos the same thing, I'll be like, no, 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 that's not cool. That's AA9 Skills' idea. That's his unique stuff. You got to give him some credit for that and make sure that you're not stealing his ideas. But I don't think that it's unacceptable for other people to use other games within FIFA as long as it's their own original idea. So this video is coming to an end guys, managed to get 4 more wins and got a 60 win record on the board now, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I really really would be super interested to hear what you guys have got to say about this whole subject and whether or not you agree with me uh, about the subject, because of course not everybody agrees with my opinions and I completely understand that. Um, and yeah, it would just be interesting to strike up a discussion about it and I'll be in the comments section as much as possible kind of... Uh, reading and replying to you guys ideas and thoughts uh, uh, about the whole thing as well so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time cheers uh, too much again could have just gone had a shot finished it off but no nepo tried too hard see this way you can be like try hard tj just trying to get that fucking extra goal i just want those flashy goals you know just want to uh want to score something nice oh oh soldado loving that oh oh Oh, that's magic. That's Soldado. He should be five star skills next next FIFA. See what I mean? See what I mean? See what I mean? Um, next question is from Hal Wakey84. Now that Roberto Carlos has retired, do you think he is the best left back in history? You don't have to be retired to be the best. Of